Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, Miss Stephanie. It's our TOEIC unit for the month of June, in which we try to help you prepare for the TOEIC examination. And today we're talking about summer work opportunities. It is summer now. I suppose if you haven't made these arrangements already, it might be too late. But you never know. It's、uh, already June seventeenth,、mm. and it's、uh, near the end of the school year now. So yeah, act now, and you might have a job opportunity. Yeah, I think getting a summer job is great.、Um, why waste the time? You can earn some money and maybe get some experience. I always had a summertime job. Actually, I started working part time when I was a junior in high school. I just wanted extra spending money. So, and our schools were pretty easy. I must say, didn't have a lot of homework. So, yeah, I think it's a great thing to get some work experience. Uh, so that when you finally do get a full time job, you're not、uh, you're not stunned at, at、uh, spending your whole day at work. Exactly. Yes, I've had some、uh, work experience myself. I think I started working part time at my dad's gas station、uh-huh. when I was a freshman in high school,、mm-hmm. and of course, I had various summer jobs during the summer、yeah. as well. That's a good time to be working because you're not in school and you've got some free time on your hands. So you might as well do it. You can only go to the beach and ride your bicycle so many times. Okay, so we're going to find out what's happening with Jennifer and Kevin.、Uh, Jennifer is thinking of finding a part-time summer job,、mm. and let's find out what Kevin tells her. What kind of advice he gives her? Let's listen now to their conversation. Hey, Kevin, I've been thinking of finding a summer job. I want to save up for a new laptop. Sounds good, Jennifer. What kind of job are you considering? Ideally, something in an office setting. I want to gain some practical experience, maybe in marketing or administration. However, I stumbled upon a Facebook ad for a typing job yesterday, and it seems like an easy way to make some quick cash. Here, take a look at the ad. Cindy Dow. We're looking for data entry typists. Salary: at least three thousand NT dollars daily. Location: work from anywhere with your cell phone. Hours: totally flexible. Work whenever you wish. Wait, isn't this one of those typical online scams? These platforms can be breeding grounds for fraudulent job offers. Really. It looked pretty genuine to me. It even has references. I see your point, but I've read articles about similar scams. They often imitate legitimate offers, complete with convincing references and attractive payment terms, only to exploit eager job seekers. Once you DM them, they will ask for personal information or a registration fee first. You should try more reliable job platforms, such as. A safer bet would be to explore established job boards like 104, or directly check the careers section of reputable companies. They offer verified job postings and are far more secure than random social media ads. You're right. Thanks for the heads up. Okay, everybody, it's time for us to discuss the contents of today's lesson. The title is. Summer work opportunities and traps.、Mm-hmm. Now, an opportunity is a chance to achieve something. We're all looking for job opportunities, you know, job openings, for example. And of course, lots of young people are looking for those opportunities to have a summer job.、Yeah. But watch out because there might be some traps or some scams that you got to watch out for. Unfortunately, there are people out there who want to take advantage of you. Yeah, a trap is usually used when we're talking about、uh, hunting, or maybe you have some mice in your apartment and you want to、uh, make sure that they、uh, are caught. You could buy a small trap;、mm-hmm. their body gets stuck in it, and then you、uh, toss them out.、Um, but here we're talking about people being tricked、uh, into doing something that、uh, is a fraudulent or dishonest scheme or plan. We're going to talk about. Uh, what a scam is in a minute, but trap here just means、mm, uh, someone set you up to believe something that's not true. So be careful of those. So we've got two characters: Jennifer, I'm Jennifer, and then、uh, Tom's going to be 
Kevin. So,、uh, she tells Kevin she's been thinking of finding a summer job. You could also use about as a, pre- a preposition here. I've been thinking about finding a summer job. They're both correct. I typically use about more often if I'm thinking about something. So she wants to save up the money she earns from a summer job to buy a new laptop, which is a nice goal. It is, and of course,、uh, if you want a summer job, it's a good idea to have some sort of goal. Maybe you're going to attend university in the fall, and you want to have some spending money so、uh-huh. you can、uh, buy some things.、Uh, I worked part time when I was a student as well, so I could have money to buy record albums because I like to listen to music on my stereo. Cool. And here's what Kevin has to say. He says, "Sounds good, Jennifer. What kind of job are you considering?" So yes, indeed, there are lots of opportunities, but you need to choose which type of job you would like to have. I worked in a gas station myself. I also worked in a kitchen,、mm-hmm. and I had some agricultural jobs,、uh, where as you go out in the farm fields and you pick out the weeds and things like that. Yeah, well, you、uh, lived in an area that had a lot of agriculture, where farmers are growing things, which is kind of fun.、Um, Jennifer responds by saying, "Ideally, if something's ideal, it's kind of perfect、uh, for whatever you're looking for.、Um, it fits you just right." Uh, you could also say ultimately or、uh, ideally. Here, she wants something in an office setting, so she probably doesn't want to work out、uh, outside. Perhaps doing yard work. I had summer jobs doing yard work. I made a lot per hour because it was really hot where I grew up.、Um, but you know, I would work before the sun came up, and I would be done by about nine a.m. 9 a.m. by 9 a.m. in Arizona in the desert is hot, so she wants something in an office setting. Maybe she just wants to sit down. We don't know her reasons why, but、uh, she wants to gain some practical experience. Ah, here's one of the reasons: she probably foresees or sees herself in the future、uh, working in marketing or business admin, business administration. You'll often hear people just say admin. Business admin.、Uh, she said here, though. However, I stumbled upon a Facebook ad, advertisement ad for short, for a typing job yesterday, and it seems like an easy way to make some quick cash. Ooh, beware of those two words together: quick cash or easy cash. Easy money.、Uh, make sure it's not some sort of scam. And then she wants Kevin to take a look at the ad. Stumbled upon. Is one of our vocabulary phrases. It's a verb phrase, so it's got a verb and a、uh, preposition after it. Just so you know, stumble upon, stumble across, or stumble on are are all perfectly、uh, useful, and you can substitute those. So stumble on, stumble across, stumble upon, just means you weren't really planning to run into something. You kind of.、Uh, See something or run into something、uh, without planning to, just kind of you know came came up, which is kind of nice. So she stumbled upon a Facebook ad. Stumble by itself means you kind of trip over your feet, but this is different. Yeah, you lose your balance and you almost fall. If you fall, of course, that means you trip. Oh, I tripped on the sidewalk yesterday and skinned my knee. But in this case, it's a phrase. Stumbled upon. She came across a Facebook ad. She wasn't really looking for this particular ad, but she just happened to see it, and it's for a typing job. And she seems to think it's a good way to make some quick cash and get some experience working in an office setting. Now, here's what the advertisement says. It says,、uh, "For Cindy Dow, we're looking for data entry typists." Okay, so that's、uh, the job. That is being offered. A typist, of course, is somebody who types on a keyboard.、Uh, it could be a typewriter, but those are obsolete now. Nobody uses typewriters. You'll be typing on a keyboard and entering information into a database on、mm-hmm. a computer.、Uh, you're typing the information, and I guess there's still lots of、uh, information that are still or that is still on actual sheets of paper. In the past, they had to write everything down with typewriters, or they wrote them down. By hand, and nowadays you can、uh, find jobs 
where people can enter that information into a computer database. Although I think uh, uh, AI is doing a pretty good job of that nowadays as well. So that would be a data entry、um, person or a data entry、um, position. It can be boring, I must admit.、Uh, I did it a long time ago, but yeah, you can make some money. It's not hard. You don't have to think. You don't want to make mistakes, though. Be careful with that. So she's been looking at this ad. It looks like it's a pretty good salary, make about a hundred U.S. dollars a day,、um, and you can work from anywhere if you want to work on your cell phone. I don't like to do a lot of、uh, uh, working on Word documents or changing、uh, text on anything on my phone. It's too small for me. I like to work on a computer. I'm very fast on a computer, but not so much on a cell phone. The hours are flexible, kind of nice. You can work whenever you want to,、um, but you have to just make sure you get enough hours per week. So Kevin says, "Wait, isn't this one of those typical online scams?、Uh, there are a lot of online scams. Seems that we get more and more online scams every day.、Uh, beware! They come into our text messages on our phones."、Um, Sometimes they come to me through my email, but I see scams every single day, and you need to be careful and watch for your grandparents and parents as well if they're not really savvy or experienced with scams online. Sometimes they hit the wrong thing, they download something they shouldn't, and suddenly. They've got a mess on their hands, so be careful. It can happen, so you got to watch out for those scams. A person who does that is a scammer, and of course, there are lots of scammers all over the world. Or scam artist. Scam artist, yeah, yeah okay.、Uh, also, that's、uh, possible. So yes, indeed, it might be an online scam, and these platforms or these programs that are online can be breeding grounds for fraudulent job offers. Now, breeding refers to the act of breeding. Animals, okay. You get the boys and the girls together, and they produce babies. You breed those animals for whatever purpose. Now,、uh, you may be,、uh, you know, trying to grow animals、uh, to use on your farm or something. Don't use breeding to talk about humans,、uh, a man and a woman having a baby. That's not cool. Just use it with animals. Yeah, it's kind of crude to use that if you're talking、yeah. about people. I suppose you can make a joke that way, but no, we don't normally use it that、yeah. way. But、uh, indeed, a breeding a breeding ground is where these things happen, where they grow. Okay, so yes, the platform can have all sorts of these scams that people might fall for, and they're grounds for fraudulent job offers.、If、oh, Tom. Oh,、yep. sorry. I wanted to mention breeding ground is a place where something bad、uh, continues to develop. For example, I could say. Your bathroom is a breeding ground for germs,、mm. so you need to clean your bathrooms and your kitchens up really well. But breeding ground is known to be kind of a negative feeling. Oh, it's a breeding ground for、um, scam artists, or、mm. yeah, it's a breeding ground for germs. Be careful. Yeah, a lot of the scammers I think are in India, but of course they're in other places as well. I don't want to say anything against India; they've got great food. Or Nigeria, I get emails、uh, supposedly from yeah、Nigeria. somebody who's died, and they're going to give you an inheritance or something like that. I've seen that、yeah. many times before.、Uh, they're kind of old though; I haven't seen those recently. But in any case, here、uh, these platforms indeed can be breeding grounds for fraudulent job offers. If something's fraudulent, well, it's a deceptive. And it's not honest. It's a criminal act, and they're trying to do something they're not supposed to be doing. And we oftentimes shorten fraudulent to fraud. I could say,、mm -hmm. oh, he was arrested for fraud,、yeah. trying to cheat、uh, taxpayers out of their money. Right. So you got to watch out. Be on the lookout for those kind of scams or fraudulent job offers. So Jennifer says, really? She's kind of disappointed. I think. It looked really good to her. She says it looked pretty genuine to me. I've heard、uh, some Americans say genuine, but it's kind of a joke. I don't think we really say genuine very often. 
Oh, it's a genuine leather purse or something yeah, like that. Yeah, they're trying to talk in a southern accent just for fun just or something. Fun. They may say we, genuine, it, yeah, a deal for you. But it's real. If it's genuine, it's real. Yeah, genuine leather, for example,、mm-hmm. genuine gold.、Mm. And yes, indeed, she thinks the advertisement is legit or legitimate, and she says it even has references.、Uh, references, of course, are、uh, people or things that you list. So people can check out to make sure you're telling the truth.、Uh, if you're looking for a job, of course,、uh, you want to provide some references,、yeah. maybe from、uh, a teacher or a professor or something that knew you and can say good things about you.、Uh, yes, I have my references here. You can contact, you know, Professor Smith or whatever, and、mm-hmm. he can tell you what a great guy I am.、Uh, if you've already had a job before, your references will come from a previous employer. They're kind of、uh, telling. Uh, whoever you're applying to work with,、uh, that you're a good worker, that you're someone who is reliable and trustworthy, you're honest.、Uh, all of those things are good. So you're not going to ask a, a former boss or teacher who disliked you,、mm, no. <laughs> or who did doesn't have a very good,、uh, you know, opinion of you. Don't ask those people for references. Ask for references from people. Who think you're a great person and that will work hard. So yeah, you want to get some references. She said the ad even has references. So it sounds like the ad lists some people you can contact to see if they liked、uh, doing this particular job. But you know they could have been paid off. Right. They、know? probably know the people involved in the scam, and they're going to say, "Oh yes, I worked for that company before. It's a great company." Uh, it's a legitimate, and you make a nice salary. It's got a nice air conditioned office.、Mm-hmm. Of course,、uh, they're going to tell you those sorts of things.、Sure. They're not going to say, "Oh, don't work for them. It's a scam." They're going to cheat you out of your money. They're going to、uh-huh. send you to Cambodia to work illegally in a factory with no time off and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, you got to check out the references to make sure they're legit. Maybe you can get a reference from a friend or something.、Mm. That's probably the best way. That's how I got most of my jobs because I knew somebody. Hey, there's an opening in this company. Why don't you go apply? That's how you... most people get hired. That's、guys. the best way to、uh, find out how to get a job, basically.、Yeah. And、uh, Kevin says, "Well, I see your point. I can understand what you mean, but I've read articles about similar scams. I've done my research. I know what I'm talking about. And they often imitate legitimate offers, complete with convincing references and attractive payment terms." Only to exploit eager job seekers. So that's what these offers do.、Uh, they imitate legitimate offers. I did use that word before, legitimate, which、mm. means real, genuine. They're not fake. They're what they say they are. They're legitimate and、uh, they're complete. They have convincing references and those payment terms. If something's convincing, well, it can convince you. It can make you believe something is true. Yeah, someone can be very convincing. Ah,、uh, someone who is a very good liar、um, is often able to be convincing to others.、Um, so you need to really look into things carefully. Don't just believe anything you read, hear, or see.、Uh, you need to do some、uh, research yourself to see if what、uh, they're offering or saying is true. So they can come complete with convincing references.、Uh, some items on. Online that are for sale often have reviews, or restaurants might have fake reviews online. Make sure that what you're looking at is legit, that it's genuine. Legit is just kind of a a quick slang way to say legitimate. It's legit. He's legit. He's real. He's he is what he says he is. It says here once you DM them, they will ask for personal information or a registration fee first. Uh, if you DM someone, you direct message them. When Tom and I were growing up, it would be direct mail,、mm. so we would get advertisements through the mail that were addressed to us specifically and not just resident.、Uh, sometimes you get ads like that in the mail, but here, of course, everything's digital. So direct message is when you go into their message and you write to them, but nobody else can see. Only the person you're DMing. And we've made that into a verb. Yes, DMing someone can see them. And it says here, Kevin says you should try more reliable job platforms 
there are job platforms here, especially in Taiwan, like 104,、uh, that you can trust. A lot of people have used that. I would look to more、um, reputable and legitimate uh, social uh, jo- social media job platforms that you know you can trust. Okay, so he says that she should try those more legitimate job platforms,、yeah. and she says such as, for example, can you tell me? He says a safer bet, something safer to do, would be to explore established job boards like 104, or directly check the careers section of reputable companies. So that's what you can do. We've got these established job boards、uh, like 104. It's an、yeah. online. Interface where you can look for job offers, and they're legitimate. They check these things out. I'm sure maybe a scam slips through here and there, but for the most part,、mm-hmm. they're legitimate. And so that's a safer bet. Something's established when it's been there for a long time. It's been set up for a long time, and they're reliable. And of course, you've got the career section of these reputable companies.、Uh, if you're reputable, you've got a good reputation. People believe that you're a good company, and they offer verified job postings. And are far more secure than random social media ads. So if it's verified, somebody else has checked it to make sure it's true, and they're real people, they're reliable people that have checked it out. They're not some other scammer. Yeah.、Uh, notice that reputable、um, is an adjective of reputation. But notice,、uh, sometimes we do this to you in English. We change the zhong yin or the the strong syllable, reputable. Not reputable or reputable, reputable and reputation. So yeah, you want to look at something that has a good reputation. That's what reputable means. So Jennifer says, "Oh wow, great, great for all the information. Thank you,、uh, thank you so much." She says to Kevin, "Thanks for the heads up. Heads up is just some of somebody giving you kind of a prior warning." They give you a warning or some advice before you do something. Thanks for the heads up. Maybe you work at a company and your coworker calls you while you're on your way to work and says, "Hey,、uh, just so you know, the boss is in a bad mood, so you know, don't be late." Thanks for the heads up. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the warning, indeed. And that brings us to the end of our discussion. Let's turn things over now to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. 我是派老师。今天讲解的是六月十七号 Unit Nine Summer Work Opportunities and Traps. 这是第一天的课程。这一篇是多义单元。这个单元要讲的和暑期打工有关。第一天课文内容是一段男女生之间的对话。女生 Jennifer 告诉她的朋友 Kevin， 她想存钱买笔电，所以需要打工。而在网络上看到一则求财广告，不过他的朋友 Kevin 好心提醒他要小心诈骗，因为现在有很多不实的职缺广告，会伪装成合法的工作，但实际上是非法的，很可能呢是诈骗陷阱，严重的话会让求职者陷入重大麻烦，搞不好人财两失啊。最后 ，Kevin 也提出建议。可以在哪些地方，在哪些地方找工作会比较安全？好，那我们一起来看学习重点吧。一开头是 Jennifer， 她就跟 Kevin 说 ：“I've been thinking of finding a summer job。”好 ，I've been thinking of， 就我最近在想什么事情。后面讲出他真正的目的 ：“I want to save up for a new laptop。”我想存钱买笔电 ，save up for something， 就打算存钱做什么事。那再来 ，Kevin 怎么回应呢？这都是很值得我们学习的。Kevin 说 ：“Sounds good， 很不错的点子，很好的想法。”好，那 Jennifer 呢？进一步的去回答 Kevin 的问题，说他想要做的是什么样的暑期打工？他希望呢，能够在办公室里面打工。I want to gain some practical experience， 希望有一些实用的经验，实用的经验。那哪一方面的经验？介系词我们用 in， maybe in marketing or administration。他希望找的是行销或者行政，办公行政。那 however I stumbled upon， 刚好发现 I stumbled upon a Facebook ad， 刚好发现有一则广告。好， and it seems like an easy way to make some quick cash。那总觉得呢，这是
赚钱很快的方式 ，make some quick cash。好，那到底是什么样的广告？就在下面我们可以看得到，原来啊，这个工作说是要找资料输入的人，好 ，data entry。那而且呢，它有个特点，就是只要有手机就可以工作，工时也非常的弹性。Hours 这里所指的当然就是工作时间 ，totally flexible。那 Kevin 针对 Jennifer 所说的话有什么回忆？有什么回忆呢 ？Wait， 当我们听到 wait 的时候，就可以注意到，大概呢都是要提出警告啊。Uh, isn't this one of those typical online scams？ 这不就是线上的诈骗吗？ These platforms can be breeding grounds for fraudulent job offers. Breeding grounds 的当然就是温床。后面的这 fraudulent job offers， 什么是 fraudulent？ 请同学特别画起来。通常呢，就是这些假的、欺骗的这种误导性的东西。那常常都不是真的。好，那。比方说啊，我们就会有一些诈骗的 email， 你也可以说是 fraudulent email。好，那 Jennifer 怎么说呢？听到这样的警告 ，really？ 他自己也很惊讶。It looks pretty genuine to me， 看起来不像假的。这就跟前面的 fraudulent 可以说就是反义词 genuine。我觉得看起来应该是真实的求职广告啊。It even has references， 还有推荐人呢。这 reference 指的就是推荐人。我们常常在做求职履历的时候呢，也必须要列出推荐人，所以让这个有意可能会雇佣我们的雇主这些公司可以打电话去查证。好，那再来，我们来看一下 Kevin 怎么说呢 ？Kevin 就说 ：“I see your point。”哦，我知道你在说什么。你看到的推荐人，你会觉得这看起来很像真的，对吧 ？But I've read articles about similar scams. 但相关的诈骗案，我看过一些新闻的报道。They often imitate legitimate offers. Legitimate offers. 这 legitimate 当然指的就是合法，没有什么问题的。Complete with convincing references. 而且这些求职广告上面资讯很完整。有什么呢？很令人信服的，会觉得哎，这是应该是真的啊，很逼真的，应该就会觉得说这就是真的。推荐人名单。And attractive payment terms, 而且上面呢也还有一些很好的待遇 Attractive payment terms, 同学都可以把这些形容词画起来 Only to exploit eager job seekers. 可是呢，却怎么样 ？Only to 就是一个转折啊，他却只是要来，却只是要来剥削，急着要找工作的人 Eager job seekers. 好，那所以 once you DM them. 同学可以把 DM 画起来，指的当然就是私讯。你一旦寄私讯给他们，他们就会要你的个资。好，所以 Kevin 建议他 try more reliable job platforms， 找一些比较可以信赖的求职的平台。那 Jennifer 就说：“怎么样算是比较可以信赖的？可以给我例子吗 ？”Kevin 用的 a safer bet 这个词语非常的好。Safer bet 当然就是。比较安全、比较可靠的这种求职平台 ，would be to explore established job boards. 这类 job boards 当然指的就是知名的求职网站，像104啊，这些一零四人力银行，这些都算是 job boards. Establish 这个形容词，请同学画起来。这里指的当然就是有名啊、有资历的。那我们也知道说，一零四人力银行其实在台服务已经有好几年了。好，我 directly check the career section of reputable companies. 那有一些公司，他们有相当的知名度，你也可以直接去看他们的求职专区。好 ，career section。好，这里呢，通常都是有查证的，经过查证的这些求职的机会。好，再来，我们就看到后面，看到后面呢，就是 Jennifer 听完了这些建议以后，那就说 ，You are right. Thanks for the heads up. 好，他听一听 Kevin 所讲的，他同意，觉得很有道理。再次谢谢他的警告提醒。Thanks for the heads up. Heads up 所指的呢，通常就是我们对别人所提示的一些警告，希望他们要小心，要注意哪些事项
。好，以上就是我们针对第一天课程所做的中文讲解。谢谢大家。We are going to take a short break now, but please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We're going to introduce some useful expressions for you. We're talking about persuasion.、Uh, that's what Kevin was doing with Jennifer here. He was trying to persuade her to use reputable websites and not rely on that scam advertisement she just saw. Here's the first one. It seems to me, this is my opinion, that expanding your product line could attract a broader customer base. If you want to be direct, you could say, "Hey." Expand your product line to attract a broader customer base, but you want to be softer and、uh, less direct. So, yeah, it seems to me. I seem to think that you should expand your product line. Or perhaps you should do this. Number two, are you interested in joining our book club meeting this Friday afternoon? Someone's inviting you to do something.、Uh, you could say, "Oh, hey, would you be interested? Oh, I think you'd like this. Are you interested?" Is more direct, but would you be? Would you possibly be interested in doing this? What's number three, Tom? Have you thought about?、Uh, which could also be expressed as "Have you ever thought about?" Yeah, I remember hearing ads about that. Have you ever thought about a career as a medical、uh, professional or something like that?、Yeah. And、uh, here it says, "Have you thought about using social media marketing to increase your brand visibility?" Yeah, use social media. Uh, to let people know about your product or service, yeah. Have you ever thought about that?、Hmm, something you should consider. Now, here's our discussion question: Do you think social media is a good place to find jobs? Why or why not?、Um, I think for the most part, I would say a good seventy-five、uh, percent of the jobs that are out there、uh, you get through someone you know.、Mm. So I would ask around, ask your、uh, friends, your relatives,、uh, companies you work with, maybe of clients. Ask them if they're hiring. That's the best way to get hired. I wouldn't think that social media is a great place, but 104 is pretty good. I've I've、uh, looked at that before. Okay, so yes, indeed, you need to make connections to get a good job, and we wish you the best of luck in finding a summer job. Okay, that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Thanks for joining us. Please remember to join us again next time. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.